Oh my God, Harry Lonnie, all the steam. It's boiling, y'all. Okay, so look, she got the fettuccine right here. Do it over the stove. Uh-uh, don't pull it out like that. Dump it in your hand over the pot, and you're just gonna, you're not gonna break these. Just dump the whole box in the water. You're all right, get your hand from so close to the pot. I said dump them in the pot, you dumping them all on the floor. Oh Lord, she got them all on the stove. Now pick those up that's on the stove. Those couple you drop, put them in the pot. They don't have to be straight down in there. Pick mm -hmm. them up off the stove. The steam will cook them and they will shrink. Okay? Yep, and one more little piece. Here. Come around if you can't see. Don't reach over boiling water. can't be scared you have to listen to exactly what I say I told you to get over the pot you were scared because of the heat but then you dumped them all on the floor because you were nervous go ahead and put them in there all right well, you did pretty good throw the box away we need to put oil that's what I got the oil for but I, I got some grapeseed oil too so you ain't got to open that one yep that one's open. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, pour a little bit in there so the noodles won't stick. Okay, just like a tablespoon. And get um, a fork or something to stir these. It's clean. Okay. Stir it up. Stir, stir, stir so they won't stick, and plus you're mixing the oil. I guess it's getting on the noodles, but oil and water supposedly don't mix, so I don't know. But it's making them slippery, so they won't stick to the pot. Do not blow over the pot. Putting your germs, putting your C-19 breath over my noodles. Girl, I'm talking about they can't see you. Well, I'm calling you out. I got F-29. What the heck is F-29? It's just worse than C-19, that's what you're trying to say? Okay, turn the stove down a little bit now. Put it on like eight, seven or eight. They just need the boil. And you know how I like any of my noodles, rather spaghetti, linguine, whatever. Scampi, as long as, um, like right before they get done. Then we're gonna drain it, put cold water so they won't continue cooking with the heat. Even though they're not on the stove anymore, anything that's hot, it will continue to cook unless you put cold water on it, okay? So watch it, let it go on. I wish I could have just showed you the video I was playing. I was watching because I guess Lotto dissed Ludacris and I was just playing his diss song and my son told me, oh, that's Ludacris? I didn't know he was a rapper. I was like, what you thought he was? Tell me, I thought he was an actor. And I was like, that too. These kids don't know good music, but the little comeback, it ain't really a diss. She was saying he went from Atlanta, um, Lotto and Amaretta, and he just did a comeback. Ludacris, yeah, he had, um he played a good role as like an adoptive dad. And one last movie I seen, I saw it free on YouTube. Like anytime you want to see something and you don't know the name of the movie, just Google movie with Ludacris in it. You know, where he plays a dad or something. You know, it'll pop up. Okay, noodles coming along, coming along. Not quite there yet. You say what now? Because I won't let you taste the noodle, you say one of them look like my they look like my dreads. Yes. So that means they smooth and slippery. No. Yes. Yes. I always talking about my locks look like stale Cheetos. You know, I'm ready to come here. These are the things I told y'all on my about a video that I got. It was the oat bars. I couldn't think of it. So of course I paid with EBT and I got cash back. Let's buy one, get one free. Check y'all bought an app. Check my last, I bought a video. Yeah, you was really about to put your hand in there and grab a noodle. Okay, get one really noodle. No, keep it on the fork real quick to let it cool off. Go ahead. One. They hot, Q. I don't need you touching all the noodles. He about to throw it on the wall to demonstrate, you know, if it's done. That's one way you guys can check, but hold on. Hold it. No, so. put it over the stove. I mean, yeah, so if it fall, it'll fall on the stove. Go ahead. It's done. If a noodle sticks to the wall, it's done. And he's literally sitting there eating the noodle, y'all. Um, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and drain these. 
Oh, Q just said we should boil it a little bit more because it's too tough. You really want to taste a plain noodle, Lonnie? No. You're not going to throw another one on the wall. No. So are you about to eat that? Yes. Pick it up and let it drop on the stove if it's going to drop. It's hot, Lonnie. Don't grab it with your hand. Move. Be quiet. The steam is so hot. <laughs> you he what? He's eating a noodle like he hasn't eaten in forty years. He probably ain't ate in forty years. He looked like it at least six to seven. Ooh. 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 I can't grab it either. Okay, look. There is oh. Sorry. I was trying to be cheap and not get two. That was two on there. This is not hot. I ain't wasting all my noodles. They're going on right there. Let it cool off. Q said it tasted a little tough, so to let it boil a little bit more. But I don't like my noodles soggy. How long you took to take it out? They probably done. <laughs> they probably are done. After all that time, I was trying to take it out. It tastes good? Mm -hmm. Let me get the end piece. Let me see. Okay. Not the piece you bit off of. No, okay, yeah, that's good. Let's drain this. So I'm going to go ahead and pour these, pour these out. Pour this water out. Some people have a strainer. I got one somewhere, but I don't even waste my time. I'm going to put it close to the edge of the... Um, like this so I can catch the noodles if they fall that steam is hot honey this is how you can get you a quick cheap free facial that's it cheap and free see the cheaper free which one Shade. free put your face right on over it ain't anybody that does have C19 I know anybody with C19 boy some water put their face over it Okay, here go the noodles. We're gonna take it to the stove now and put it in our Alfredo sauce. As much as you can. Okay, that's enough. Just sit it in the pot, the clean pot back there. Now, um, can you grab this pot without burning me? Lift it up over the Alfredo and put it on the other eye. Mm -mm. You're gonna grab the tongue and put them in a little bit at a time. And I put it on this hot eye, y'all. Make sure you grab them. Yeah. Now mix, uh-uh, before you put some more in there, mix it all up in the sauce. Like, flip them. Pick them up, flip them. There you go. Flip them, pick them up again. Okay. Now get some more. Just make sure you coat it. It's all right. I'm looking like the other yesterday, like Maya used to say. I woke something for about an hour. Do it back on today. She splashed and sauce on me and she was like, I'm sorry. Okay. Maya didn't know how to say um like the day before yesterday or last week. So when she was little, she used to say, Remember we went, Ma, the other yesterday? <laughs> it was so cute. I wish I had footage for back then. Okay, yeah, do the same thing. Coat it all in the sauce a little bit at a time. You don't want to put all the noodles in there first and then have half of them plain with no sauce on it keep flipping it look like you're stirring it pick them up flip it you're getting a workout with them tongues huh okay. do a little bit at a time don't try to do all of them just the ones on the top that you just put in there okay put the rest of the noodles you got a lot left put them on the side on the side you putting too many all in one spot and you're trying to pick them all up. Get some more. Put them on this side. Go ahead and coat them. Or you can move them over if you want to. ASMR moment. More. Just 
get what you got and go back and get some more. Yeah, if it's only one on there, let's get it. Tilt it to the side. Right There's a little water in there, so you don't want to pour it. Go ahead and transfer it. Don't worry about that stuck one. Just get what's on the side right here. And you probably can get it right with your hand on it. Yep, get it with your fingers and put it in there. It's still hot, a little bit of water that's in there. Okay, we gotta coat these noodles and then add the shrimp and chicken. Q, you want to come add the chicken and shrimp? Hmm? Huh? Okay, go ahead. He said he's doing a video. Okay, so grab some with the tongs because it's juice in there, so I want to just drop them in there. Shrimp and chicken. Pick them up. Coated. You want me to do it? Mm -hmm. She said her hand got tired. So I'm going to help her out. Yeah, she said her hand got This is only one box of noodles. Y'all saw it was two bags of shrimp and one bag of the Tyson grilled chicken. Flashing. Yeah, it could get messy if you ain't careful. This is full. I might have to transfer this to um, that pot that I got back there. Yeah, I am going to have to transfer it. Plus, that one has a lid. Get all that butter and that good goodness. Oh, Never making shrimp alfredo before and chicken alfredo not like um homemade the sauce you know this look like it turned out pretty good gotta get all that alfredo sauce mixed in pretty well i didn't have to use my backup for totally alfredo garlic alfredo and i probably still could add some but i'm gonna leave it alone i don't want to mess anything up because i'm gonna have to heat that sauce up and I'm just pour it. That's on low. Let me put it on too real quick to heat it up because we're the chicken and shrimp and sitting in the bowl. So I put it on three. And I'll put it on four. Just to warm it up a little bit. And I'm going to transfer all of this to my pot. So I'm able to put a lid on it once everybody has fixed their plate. We had some lobster in here. That'll be on point. Now we're gonna make our garlic bread. And then we're done. It's heavy. Try not to lose any of my food. I just dropped some chicken. 
couple regular toasts left so we're just gonna stick these in the oven where's my parchment paper since you can't find that tin foil and we're gonna lay it um on there because i like to lay stuff right on the rack especially if it's like toast like this but since this has butter once it heat up it will drip into the bottom of the oven so i'll either put a dirty pan up under not a dirty pan but a pan so it can get dirty like the butter can leak into the pan is what i'm trying to say or tin foil so, um, yeah, that's the parchment paper. You know how to rip it? You're supposed to have it in the box. She took it out the box. It's supposed to be in the box, like, oh, I was going to say, like, tinfoil. But you can rip it like that since you already got it. <coughs> I'm going to open the box and put that, lay those on there. And I'll use two. Basically, cookie paper. So, save for the oven. Tear those apart. I can't do it with one here. There you go. And just lay the knots on it. I love this and garlic knots. I used to go to this Italian restaurant and get those, I think when I was pregnant with Maya, all the time, almost every day. So we cheat and when we make a homemade garlic bread, we just took all that time making the sauce. So put the rest in there. How many more? Like another pack. One more. one more pack, so three more. It's gonna be six garlic knots, so two. So eight pieces of bread all together. And Lonnie will eat seven by herself. This girl is her daddy call her like a bird because she eats nothing but bread. Like plain bread out of the loaf. Like it doesn't eat butter or anything, she just eats it. Yep, you are right. I should have peeled the tails off. I forgot. I forgot about those that the tails run off on those. Don't put the fork back in there. Did you put your mouth on the fork or did you just grab the noodle? Go rinse it off. And this spoon right here. Well, I'm gonna record it. I'm gonna show them the truth. I told her she gotta put butter on top of the garlic knot. And she's like, okay, wait, don't record it. <laughs> That's how I do it. My biscuits too. Rather it's butter biscuits or butter croissants if it already has butter on it. When I bring it out of the oven, I get the stick and rub it over. If I ain't got the stick, I get the spoon, dip it out, put it all over there. It's going to melt while it's hot. There you go, Ma. No, not like that. You got to rub the butter on the garlic knot. <laughs> yeah, just pick up the garlic knot and rub it all over you yeah, in the creases and all. It's okay. best to do it when you first take it out of the oven. Here, do it right here so they can see what you're doing. Y'all need to try this for yourself. And if you're not subscribed to her, you need to subscribe now. Because <laughs> her cooking is delicious. And what about your channel? Plug yourself, girl. Yeah, my channel is Alani Masterpiece. P-E-A-C-E. -E. Alani, A-L-A-N-I. Master and Peace. P-E-A-C-E. -E. Subscribe to my daughter, okay? She ain't been consistent with videos, but y'all know y'all help people. Once they get to a thousand, they can start having some income. So that thousand is, it seems like it's really hard to get to that thousand. But once you get to the thousand, you're good. So I never forget the people that got me to the thousand. Oh, trust, I remember. 
because I see the names all the time. So I remember, y'all, be some of those people that she'll never forget that helped her get to a thousand, okay? That's good. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy. Thank you. I've already tasted it, guys, but um, she just fixed me a plate. Thank y'all so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Did you fix Olaya plate? Please give the video a thumbs up. Fix my baby a plate if you haven't already. You can also give it a thumbs down. You can also give me one of those. It really don't matter. I'll give you one back. Tell a friend to tell a friend about Sade with the receipts. And last but not least, please share, share, share if you dare, honey. And I will see y'all in the next video. Toodles!